Hi, this is Minus Joannides with the Optimum Academy, Heart 101 series, video number eight on coronary artery calcium scores. So let's get started. So what are calcium artery, coronary artery calcium scores, abbreviated CAC? So there is a strong association between arterial calcification and atherosclerotic disease. So coronary artery calcification in an asymptomatic applicant has been well validated measure of the extent of subclinical, that means no symptoms, of atherosclerosis. So somebody may be asymptomatic, and yet when this test is done, calcium will be found in the coronary arteries, giving us an indication that there may be coronary artery disease. So coronary artery calcium measurements are usually done as a screening test in people who, one, may have risk factors for cardiovascular disease that are intermediate or borderline, or possibly they have a strong family history of heart disease, specifically coronary artery disease, and may have this test done as a screening test to see whether they are also at risk for coronary artery disease. Coronary artery calcium scores are not used to evaluate acute chest pain. So coronary artery calcium testing. So you can see at the bottom, I have pictures of the machines that are used to try to find any calcium that may be in the coronary arteries. And to the graphic on the left in the upper graphic picture, you can see the really dense white material is calcification in a coronary artery. So that's what this test is looking for. How much of that dense white material is within a coronary artery? To the graphic at the right upper zone right next to my picture, you can see a graphic representation of what happens in coronary artery disease. That yellow material on both sides of the artery is limiting the flow of blood in the coronary artery to the heart muscle, and that can be dangerous and cause problems. So within that yellow material that's obstructing the flow of blood, calcium may be accumulating. So this test gives us a proxy for how much stenosis or how much clogging of that artery may be present. So that's why coronary artery calcium testing is done. So where did the scoring come from? It's actually the same doctor who wrote the South Beach Diet, Dr. Arthur Agaston. And so the calcium score, sometimes called the Agaston score, is calculated based on the amount of plaque in the CT scan of the coronary arteries and it may be converted to a percentile rank based on your age and gender. So the results of this scoring test will be used by your physician to determine whether you're at risk for coronary artery disease. So occasionally you'll see a CT done of the chest. However, this is not a coronary calcium score. It may just denote that there was atherosclerotic vascular disease seen in a coronary artery, but it, if it doesn't give you a numerical score, that's not really what we're talking about today. It may still be something you wanna pay attention to, but it doesn't give you the score that we're talking about today. So what we're looking for is a numerical score, uh, and it may be designated by which coronary artery it is in. In this case, you can see in the box to the left that the LAD has the, the coronary calcium and the score is 97. So in the picture to the right, you can see that the really dense white material is the calcium showing up and that's where the problem is in this particular case. So we use these numerical scores to determine what kind of risk this particular applicant may be at. So calcium artery scoring um, of, if you get a score of zero, 
there is no evidence of calcium present, and it has a huge positive predictive power that there will be no significant cardiovascular uh, risk in terms of CAD for the next 10 to 15 years. So a zero score is a really favorable attribute in an applicant for life insurance. However, if the score is high, uh, the applicant may be put on aggressive risk modification therapy like statins. And there, since their risk goes up, rating manuals may rate the score based on what the person's age and the score is uh, in terms of what is their mortality risk over time. So the mortality risk increases in proportion to the increasing coronary artery calcium score and is age dependent. So young people should have zero or very low scores. So even a modest elevation in a young person may have an impact as their future mortality risk. So what are the takeaways for coronary artery calcium scores? Did, it, did the applicant have a coronary calcium score performed due to cardiac risk factors or possibly an adverse family history? If the score was zero, that's extremely favorable, not only for now, but going out another decade or decade and a half. If the score is elevated, uh, what other cardiac studies are available to weigh or discover the underlying risk of atherosclerotic cardiovascular disease? And of course, our uh, optimum underwriting team can always assist on difficult cases such as this one. So that concludes our video on coronary artery calcium scoring.